Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel Harlequin Intuitive. In today's video we're going to be talking about what are people saying about you. But this reading isn't for everybody. Um, this reading is specifically about if you feel in your life that you have people that are saying something about you behind your back or if you have specific people in mind and you're curious to know um, what they talk about you, what they say about you, how they perceive you, this reading is going to be for you. So again, this only works if you have specific people in your mind. It is not a general kind of how do, how do people in general perceive me. It's more about how do these specific people that I have in my mind perceive me and what are they saying about me specifically right now. So hopefully this reading can bring clarity on maybe some confusion that's happening in certain relationships. Um, and we're going to tap into why they're saying what they're saying um, and any advice that the cards might have for you regarding these personal relationships in your life. Okay, so today's pick a card, we're going to be using lighters. I have one new lighter. These two I've already had, but... Um, I don't know, I just wanted to show them to you all. So, um, lighter number one is going to be this kind of like rainbow, not rainbow, like pink and purple butterfly lighter. So I activate group one, and I these are with a couple of my crystals, the rose quartz and the purple sugalite. That is going to be group one. Group two is all black. We have a black lighter. I activate this now for group two, a black hematite stone and a snowflake obsidian. Okay, so that's gonna be group two. And group number three is this Hawaiian kind of tropical lighter, one of my favorites. I activate group three and we have it with a Dalmatian Jasper and a light green pre-night. Uh, just one more announcement before we start the reading. For the month of April, my readings are currently 50% off. If you would like more information on that, wait till the end of the reading. I'm going to be releasing a magic code that you can enter in my Google form. So if you would like a 50% off reading, wait till the end to receive the code and then use that to get the discount for the month of April, okay? So other than that, let's just get started with your reading. Click on the timestamps below and I'll see you at your reading. Hi group one, if you chose the butterfly lighter, this is gonna be your reading. So what are people saying about you? Go ahead and think of those specific people you have in mind, of the situation that's causing you confusion, and let's just take a look. Master of Flames and the Chariot. We have the Master of Flames and the Chariot. Okay, so what these people are saying about you, they're saying that you are coming into your full power. That's what they're seeing about you. That's what they're saying about you. They're talking about how how powerful you're becoming in whatever it is that you do, whatever it is that you're expressing. They're talking about how you're taking positive action towards this new kind of persona that you've created for yourself or this new identity that you've created for yourself. They see you as someone who's in total like forward movement towards your goals. Um, really positive energy, really good words they're saying about you. Um, there is also the potential of certain people saying that you're very physically attractive. There's something about the vessel that you currently inhabit that is very attractive to other people. And so they could be seeing you as a very, a very powerful, charismatic person. And it's, it really kind of like you really exude this energy right now. And they're really saying all these positive things about you. So let's just go ahead and look at at what the tarot has to say, maybe more specifics on what exactly they're saying about you. What exactly are these people saying about you, group one? What 
what exactly are these people saying about you, Group One? Ace of Wands, Page of Wands, and the Two of Pentacles. Yeah, I'm seeing that they're really talking about how you started something new. You could have recently launched something new, something completely different, something completely like out of the ordinary, something you've never tried before. And people are really picking up on this energy. Um, they're basically just saying that you're like, you're growing really rapidly or you're like becoming a bigger version of yourself very rapidly. Um, they're seeing how you're inviting this new energy into your life. And they're seeing how you're embarking on a new journey that is completely different from anything you've done before. I mean, I feel like this is also kind of like the people maybe in your personal life who know you, they feel like you've been through a lot of tests in your life. You've been through a lot of trials and tribulations and a lot of difficulty in your life. And so they're seeing you as someone who has really just kind of overcome all this and is just turning your back to all these struggles and starting something completely new, and it's starting to work for you. That's what they're saying, is that this is finally working for you. So I'm seeing that the people in your life, the people that you have in question, they're regarding you with a lot of respect and authority. Um, they're not saying anything bad about you. They're not saying anything like, like with any intention to hurt you. If anything, they're seeing you very, very positively, and they're saying like, like they, they're almost like proud of you when they talk to other people. Can I get some clarifiers, please, on this energy? Can I please have some clarifiers on this energy? Maybe a deeper meaning behind the cards I have pulled. You have the Knight of Wands at the bottom and the Seven of Wands. So yeah, I'm. this just continues to um, show me that it, it's something about a, a struggle that you've been living in, and it's all of a sudden like you just started over completely. We have the Ten of Swords with the Ace of Wands. So you, you literally just like put something to an end very drastically, very, very turbulent kind of. Um, problem that you had been living for a long time and then you just kind of like decided to focus on your health and your well-being and so people are really saying that you're expanding to new territories you're growing to a new space you're you're expanding your building especially with the two tens here it shows that it's a major life change for you um, people are picking up on this energy all over and so they're saying this about you they're talking about you there's there's something that you there's something that it's like you've reached a point of no return in your life where you can't go back to being the way you used to be because now you're completely just building your new life, starting over. Like you're, you're starting again from scratch. And they're talking also about how intelligent you are. Like they're saying something about you being very intelligent with the Queen of Swords here. Um, how you're intelligently like possibly juggling two careers or like um, handling a situation kind of effortlessly. They're saying that you have a lot of um, intelligence. They're seeing you as very intelligent. Anything else that the cards might want to pick up on? The higher font. And the Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, you're. they're talking about, if this is specifically regarding a work situation, they're talking about how you are really improving rapidly in your career. They're seeing you as someone who is just mastering things very effortlessly. So they're just seeing you as someone who's just about to embark on this big change. And they're seeing you as just very intelligent, hard worker, if this has to do with a work situation, they're seeing you very positively. They're seeing you as someone who takes charge, who is in the lead, who is respectable. Like there's this general energy of just respect that people have this high regard for you. They see you as a teacher. They see you as a leader. So very, very positive things are coming through in this reading.
Yeah. Um, now I'm going to ask, is there any reason why they're saying this? Um, any particular reason why they're talking about you in this way? Is there any particular reason why they are talking about you in this way, group one? The world. The world, the three of wands and the nine of wands. Yeah, you're, okay, the reason why they're talking about you is because they're seeing you expand expanding like your energy is becoming very very expansive and you're you have the ability now to draw anything to you that you need like they're seeing you as someone who has liberated from a struggle a challenge they've seen everything that you've been through to build yourself up to where you are today and they see this as like you have every possibility open for you so it's almost like they're waiting on your next move really you have a lot of experience Again, you could be very physically attractive to other people, something something about you. There's just so much wands, all of this wands energy. It's like there's something about you that is almost intimidating to people because it's it's almost like they respect you at such a level. They see everything that you've been through. They see all the struggles that you've been through to get to where you are. And they see how you finally liberated yourself. So, yeah. This is why. You probably know what this is about. If this resonates with you, um, there's a huge change going on in your life. You've just been through a huge change. And I feel like people are starting to recognize that. They're seeing that. And so they're, they're speaking very positively of you. Finally, I'm just going to ask, is there any... Um, is there any advice that the cards have for you specifically moving forward now? Maybe regarding these relationships or regarding um, your current situation. Any advice? Whoops. First card that came up was the Six of Cups. Have empathy for the people around you. They're not trying to hurt you. So if you, if you were drawn to this reading because you feel like maybe you're not sure, um, maybe you feel like there is... Um, some kind of weird energy in the people around you. Um, definitely just have empathy. People respect you. They see you as someone in a position of power. So don't do anything. Like in no way you should feel that, that they're trying to hurt you or talking bad about you. They're saying really positive things about you. So your advice is to really just be more like to be playful, to be kind, to have empathy for the people around you because... They see you almost as like an older sibling or they see you as someone who's just like above them in some way, but in a very kind of like innocent way. There's no jealousy. There's no envy. There's nothing like that. It's it's just like kindness is what I'm getting. We have the devil and the knight of wands. Okay, turned right around. Um, Can I get a clarifier on that, please? Okay, um, this might just suddenly be picking up on somebody else's energy as well. But overall, what I'm getting is that if there are people in your life who you feel are being toxic towards you, if there's a situation where there's like a sense of competition or there's a sense of um, like challenge, distance yourself from these people. Distance yourself from these people and find people who you can have like a... Um, very natural kind of genuine connection with because there's no need in focusing on these people like what this reading just said to me is that there are people in your life who see you positively they see you with respect they see you as a friend they respect your hustle they respect what you've been through but turning right around there's a potential of people who don't see you that way. They might have envy. They might have jealousy. These are not the people that you should be focusing on. So literally just distance yourself from these people. Any final messages that want to come through, please? 
Eight of Pentacles just flew out. Focus on your work. Keep working on your work. There's no need to pay any attention to people who want to bring you down because they're not above you, see? They're like all, you guys are all at the same level. No need to compete. No need to compare yourself to anyone. Everybody's on the same level. And just focus on your work and focus on the people who care about you. Yeah, and be very clear as to where you stand. Be very clear as to where you stand in your relationships. Cut out any toxic energy. And that's really all the cards have to say to you, I think. this re It's really that simple. So I'm just going to go ahead and leave this reading at that group one. I hope it resonated with some of you. Um, if you are interested in a 50% off reading for the month of April, this is going to be the magical code. It's 811. This magical code you can put into the Google document for my readings. Um, this is valid only for the month of April. So if you're interested, uh, go ahead and check that out. Otherwise, I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you did, go ahead and leave a comment, like the video, and subscribe to my channel. And I hope to see you guys again next time for future videos. All right, talk to you guys later. Bye. Hi, group two. If you chose the black lighter, this is going to be your reading. Um, also with the snowflake obsidian and the black hematite. This is going to be your reading. So we're tapping into what are people saying about you. Um, people, specific people that you might have in mind. Uh, what general energies about what they're saying about you is coming through. We have the six of orbs and the five of chalices. Okay, I see some people in your life who are very hurt about a change that you've made. Very, very devastated about something. We have the six of orbs and the five of chalices. I'm getting just a general sadness. People are sad that you maybe left a situation behind. Um, and they're having difficulty dealing with their feelings in this time. And so there could be a lot of like backhanded remarks or... Um, they feel like their feelings are not being seen. They're, they feel like they're not being heard by you. And so they feel like they need to go to other people to talk about you in a way, but it's really just kind of out of sadness. So let's see what the tarot has to say about this. Any clarity that wants to come in for this reading. I call upon the energy of group two. To show me kind of just a general of what people are really saying in regards to this energy here. What are people really saying about you, group two? Okay. Okay, um, there's a sense of isolation in these people. Um, we have the Hermit, the Eight of Wands, and the Page of Swords. There is somebody in your life, um, if this is the person you have in your mind, the way they feel is very isolated from you. Or they feel like you have become very isolated in some way. Um, and so what they're saying about you is... Hmm. I'm seeing that there is quite a bit of talk. Like there, there is quite a bit of action headed in your direction. A, a bit of energy headed in your direction. And I think that there's a bit of spying as well. Like people are checking up on you. Because I feel like people feel, these people might feel that you are isolated or they feel isolated from you. And so they're checking up on you and they kind of want to see what's going on in your life. And so... I'm getting this sense that there's a lot of energy directed towards you. Especially considering that we have the Six of Orbs as our first card. There's distance between you and these people that are saying these things about you. So they're, they're seeing you as someone who's far away. They're seeing you as someone who's on a different level than them. Um, and they have this kind of sense of sadness 
like loss and regret and remorse. They feel they feel sad about something that happened, possibly, or the way that things turned out, possibly. But there's just this like energy coming towards you of spying from um, kind of a secret place, you could say. Like the hermit is kind of like on his own, kind of like with his flashlight in the dark, and then the page of swords comes in to kind of check up and to look and to research and to do things like that. So um, there is energy being directed towards you. Um, as far as what people are saying, I'm not sure if they're really saying much, but they're feeling a certain way about you. Whoops, sorry. Okay. They're feeling a certain way. So let's just see um, maybe a deeper meaning to this. Um, energy here. Let's see, please, a deeper meaning to this energy here. What else do the cards have to tell us about what people are saying about you, group two? We have the Empress at the bottom. So, and the Five of Pentacles. I feel like the, the thing is, is like, um, they're saying that, that you are outside their social group now. Like, there's, there's a situation where you're, you've cut off. And so they see you as someone who's cut off from them. They see you as someone who is just on your own. They, you don't need these people anymore. And so they're seeing you as someone who has a lot of strength, a lot of power, a lot of potential, a lot of talent, a lot of ability in whatever it is that you do. They see you as someone who knows how to handle the situation and doesn't really give a fuck in a way. <laughs> like, that's how they see you. But then it's like, so there's energy being directed towards you in a good way, but... I do sense that there's kind of like this kind of like need for a certain resolution. And so they might be talking about you in a way that it's for them to gain a certain resolution or, or kind of a peace of mind in a way is what I'm getting with this, these two cards. They want like a peace of mind on the, some emotional thing that has been done, but there's this energy that's, that's you're cut off from them. You've moved on from these people or this person and it's a situation where they feel kind of lonely without you. They feel like they can't move on without you. And so it's like there's this kind of like going over things that already happened or kind of like like talking about things from the past because they see you as someone who's really gaining a lot of um, power or... Um, They see you as someone who's endured quite a bit with this card. They could also be seeing you as someone who's very intelligent or very like good at what you do. But there is this general energy where they feel distant from that. And so that's why they feel the need to talk about you. Is there any clarity that might want to come through with these cards? The Emperor. Death. Wow. They, they're they saying that you... <sighs> okay, there's just this huge profound change is what I'm seeing. Huge profound change on your reputation even. Like on what you're capable of doing and creating. But um, they see you in a position of power. They see you as someone who has worked possibly a very long time to be where you are. Let me just pull this one. With these two, I see, I see a certain stability, a certain authority in your favor. Or they see you as someone who you have all your... Whoops, I'm just going to put that right there. You have all your 
things sorted out. You know what you're doing. You're not an idiot. Like they don't, they definitely do not see you as naive or any kind of idiot. They see you as someone who like, they just, they might feel like, they might feel this intimidation or this judgment coming from you, but in this way, then they, they might judge you or try to um, talk about you in a way that is, is possibly demeaning to your character. And so there's a situation, there's just like this, like hardcore element I'm getting to this. Um, something like very emotional here. There's something very deeply like wounded about this energy. Like that whatever it is they're saying about you, they're very wounded about, about you and your situation. And so... They might feel the need to talk about you, but it's only because you're so powerful. It's only because you kind of gained something that they can't have. There's a two of cups. Um, this could be a former relationship of some kind. It could be that you have now embarked on a new relationship and they are feeling really devastated about it. Um... I'm sensing a judgment, a sense of judgment. Um, um, it could be that for some of you, this could feel like you're in a new relationship and you have somebody who's judging your relationship or somebody who's saying things about your relationship because they don't like, they like they feel envy or something about it. But I see a certain judgment about new relationships or new friends that you might have. So it's like, for example, you left a group of friends that weren't suitable for you and now you're in a new group. Well, this old group might be saying something about you because they feel kind of hurt that you're no longer with them, that kind of thing. And so there, there's definitely some judgment here. There's definitely like people saying that, oh, this person has changed so much. They're so different. But really it's coming from a place of like wounding and pain or whatnot. So next I'm just going to ask, um, I'm just going to ask next, um, why are they saying these things about you? What's the deal? Why are these people saying these things about you? Why are they saying these things about you? They seem to have a lot to say. And the last one. Okay. Okay. Um, we have the Three of Pentacles, the Five of Pentacles, and the Ten of Swords. Why are they saying this about you? They are so hurt that you left them like that's literally all I see it's like they're in pain they're in this deep pain they're wounded they they feel that you abandoned them they feel betrayed by you they feel like 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 you left them they feel like you stabbed them in the back something like that something regarding that why are they saying this about you they they don't like how you're improving your life they see you working, they see you doing new things, they see you meeting new people, they see you networking, they see you connecting with new situations and new social groups, and they feel out. They just feel out. They feel like they're no longer a part of your life. Okay, they were kind of hoping, we have the Ten of Pentacles at the bottom, and then the Four of Pentacles. So I'm getting this energy that they're holding on to something that was built between you. Um, they are just hoping, they, they were kind of hoping that you would come back or something. They, would hope, they were hoping that it could work out. You guys could work this out, but they're seeing that that's not really the case. Three moves to Four of Wands. 
they're seeing that maybe you're happy where you are and you don't really need them. And then they kind of feel like this betrayal. They feel this betrayal of what you guys were building together or something that you worked on together. Um, they feel kind of like this is never going to happen ever again. And so that's why they're feeling like this. Anything else that they might want to say to you? Anything else that these people might want to say to you? Seven of Swords. The Page of Pentacles. And the Four of Pentacles came up again. Yeah, I'm getting that they were just kind of holding on. They were they were holding on to this thing, this idea that they had. They thought that maybe you would accept what they had to offer and turns out you really don't. Like they were waiting for your like they were waiting for you to see them or validate them or do something like they were waiting for your input on what they had to offer to you, you know? That's what it is. And they, they felt like they had offered you something, they felt like it was enough, and they were holding on to you, kind of waiting for your response, but now they're seeing that, oh, this person doesn't really need me, this person doesn't want me, and so they feel a little betrayed by this. And then there's this energy of them um, watching you, um, taking information from you, trying to figure things out about you. Because they just can't believe that they've been betrayed. They just can't they just can't deal with this feeling. And so they want to like keep it alive in a way. There's some something that was being built between you or they felt that was being built between you. And so they want to keep it alive by talking about it, basically. So now I'm just gonna ask, is there any advice for you, group two, regarding this situation, regarding this relationship? Is there any advice for you, group two, regarding this relationship, regarding this situation with these people? Movement. Okay. Um, reflect inward, move inward, and build. Okay, can we get clarifiers, please? Okay. Okay, um, hmm. Oh, wow. Okay, let me just read what came out before I ask anymore. Um, for advice for you is we have the Eight of eight of Wands, the Hermit, and the Knight of Pentacles. I'm seeing um it's weird because there's this rapid energy but slow change. So things are moving, but it, they may take time to manifest. And what I mean by that is continue to reflect um on the situation, continue to reflect inwards, but don't dwell on negative feelings because we have movement towards something new movement towards something new, find a way to enhance your vision, enhance your goals, find a way to make moves towards your goals, because this is what's going to get you out of this energy. Reflect on what happened, but don't dwell on the sadness. This is the second time the Five of Cups has come up. So there is sadness on your part as well. Um, especially if you feel drawn to this reading, I feel like this is kind of a mutual thing between you and this person or these people. Don't dwell on the sadness. Don't don't feel sorry for yourself. Just reflect on what happened and move on. Because I see the potential of either a new relationship coming, um, not exactly soon, but in the future, or a reconciliation with this person, a reconciliation with these people. Um, so have very clear in your mind what your vision is and what you want to build for the future. Because this is coming very, um, like the seeds that you plant today are going to build in your future, you know. So you have to be aware on what is it that I want. Do I want to dwell in this energy? Do I want to give this person a chance? Do I want to go back to these people? Or do I want to focus and invest my energy into something that's actually more prosperous for me? 
So you have to decide what that's going to look like for you. Okay. So I think I'm just going to leave this reading in that group too. I hope this was helpful for you. Um, I hope this resonated with some of, some of you. Um, again, this is a general reading. So if it did not resonate 100%, I am available for personal readings. And they are 50% off this month of April. The code for that is going to be 811. So when you go to the Google document and it asks you what the magic code is, this is going to be the magic code for this month only. Otherwise, I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, leave a comment, like the video, subscribe to my channel if it resonated with you. And I hope to see you guys again in the future for more videos. Okay, talk to you later. Bye. Hi, group three. If you chose the tropical Hawaiian flower, oh, it won't focus. Clipper, my favorite lighter. This is gonna be your reading. I also have Dalmatian Jasper with me today and this light green Crenite. Okay, so let's just go ahead and take a look. What are people saying about you? People that you might have in mind, people that you might have conflict with, or just general unknown kind of confusing situation that you might have with relationships around you. Let's just go ahead and take a look. We have the Ten of Flames and the Secret of Orbs. Ten of Flames and the Seeker of Orbs. So the first thing that's come to mind is that people are saying that you are working really, really, really hard on something to the point where they might even be worried about you. Um, I feel like people are noticing that you've been trying a very long time to do something or to work on something or to complete something and it just isn't working out for you and so people are, are seeing that you're kind of being very inventive and trying new things they're saying that you are doing something new or there's also the potential of studying something new if you if you're a student or you're kind of like learning something new people are noticing this and they're talking about it but let's just go ahead and see what the tarot might have to say about this For group three, please, regarding the Ten of Flames and the Seeker of Orbs, what are people saying about group three? What are people saying about group three? So we have the Nine of Wands, the Ace of Wands, and the Tower. Okay, um, for this group, I'm getting that what people are seeing and saying about you is that you are working very, very hard on something. You have a lot to do. You have a lot of burdens. You have a lot of responsibilities. And people are kind of hoping that you just kind of let it all go and start over with something new because they're seeing that there's a possibility of you having burnout or something bad happening they're they're afraid of that and so i feel like because we have the 10 the 9 and then the ace if they they're saying that they want you to do something new it's like is this could i'm getting very worried energy from these people that they're saying like like oh this person is just they work so hard and they're doing you know they have the night shift or something and they they're working so hard and it's just so so much to do and they're so tired they've been through so much i just wish they would start over and do something new and try something different because i'm afraid that they're going to just have burnout or just have like a meltdown or something because you are really kind of trying to up yourself you're really trying to outdo yourself that's what they're saying about you so that's quite interesting um can we see any clarifiers, please? Any deeper meanings behind these cards? Maybe a more specific kind of image on their situation, on what people are really saying. Wow. Okay. 
we have the Eight of Pentacles at the bottom, followed by the Seven of Swords. So that could be a clue that it's like about your work. People are noticing your work maybe with this. People are observing you from afar. But the cards that came out are, we have the Four of Cups with the Nine of, of Wands. There's something that it's like you don't want to accept advice from other people. There's people coming in with their opinion. There's people coming in with advice and you don't want to accept. You're like, no, thank you. I don't, I don't want to listen to what you're saying because you're so focused on what you're doing here that you don't want to listen. And so pe this is causing people to worry. And then it's like the Ace of Wands and the Queen of Wands. It's like you really want to do things your own way. They're seeing that you are a leader, you're assertive, you're determined, you're focused on what you want to do. And they're saying, this person really wants to do things their own way. And then there's like the tower and the sun, which is insanely fascinating because it's like, they're saying that you're, <laughs> okay, a lot of things came to mind. Um, they could be saying that you are, you know, like a mess <laughs> in a way that you're becoming a mess, but then it's like, on the other hand, it's like you're the happiest you've ever been. So things might be really chaotic in your life right now. But I think that it's a good thing. I think that people are saying that it's like, you know, like, this is really insane what you're doing. It's I'm, I'm getting like you're trying to achieve something almost like impossible. Like you're trying to do something that other people just don't do. People in your life, they just don't do this. And you might have this goal or this ideal on what you want to do, what you want to accomplish. And people keep trying to come and give you advice. And you just are so persistent and stubborn on doing this your own way that people are afraid that you're going to like destroy your life. But at the same time, there's this, this energy of like happiness and liberation. So people, I feel like these people that you have in mind, they're watching you from afar they're watching you do your thing. They're watching you do what you want to do. And they're possibly worried about you. But they feel like they just, they have no say in your life. Can I get clarifiers, please, on this tower and sun energy? Tower and sun energy, please. What is the clarifier on this? The ten of wands again. This is the second time it's repeated itself. Ten of flames, ten of flames. I'm just getting this is just a huge workload. Like, like people are saying that you're just working way, 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 way too hard on whatever it is you're doing. I mean, I'm getting this like you have two jobs and on the side you're running a business and on the side you have kids and on the side you're trying to be a parent, on the side you're trying to uh, be happy, live your life on the side, you're trying to party, but there's this huge burden that you don't let go of. Can I get a clarifier on what that might be, what that burden might be? Okay, um, this could be emotional, psychological burden that you're carrying. Um, an emotional burden that you're carrying that, hmm, with the tower and the sun, that's really weird. What does it have to do with the sun? How is that a good thing? Whoa. We have temperance. Sobriety, like clarity. There's just something that you're healing is what I'm getting. Yeah, and then the Knight of Cups. There's something that you're healing. There's something that you're that is coming up finally. I feel like that's kind of what it is. Like there's the people in your life, whoever this is, I feel like they're very close to you. And I don't know if you asked this or this was your original intention, but this is the message that's coming through. Whoever this is, it's like this person, these people are very close to you. They they care about you very deeply and they know what's going on in your life. They know that you've been carrying around this burden, you've been carrying around this secret or this emotional toll that you've carried for quite some time and you're finding a new way to liberate yourself from that like you're you're working through that in the best way that you can and so what these people are saying is that 
you're having kind of a meltdown, but it's kind of good because you're finally letting out all of this energy. It's like this is like a fireball of energy that's being let out with these cards here. It's a fireball of energy that's just being let out and transformed and changed and healed. And you're becoming a better version of yourself. And so they're really seeing that you're not going to accept their advice even if you ask, like, even if you went to them and asked for advice, you wouldn't accept their advice. We have the Eight of Wands. And then this one wanted to come out. Yeah, people might be coming at you, like, blowing up your phone or something. People are like, what are you doing with your life? But you don't want to accept anything that they're saying. You don't want to listen to them because you are doing this your own way. They don't know what you've been through. They don't know what you've struggled. And so you're doing this just completely your own way, completely revolutionary kind of thing that you're doing. I don't know what it is, but you are just creating something really magical here. And it's just people might see this taking such a toll on you that your physical appearance might change. Um, just something very deeply psychological that was buried is just coming up, I think. And so this is just causing like a huge, huge change in your life. And the people are seeing that. The people are seeing like, oh, this is just the process they're going through. This is just what they're going through. And so they're talking about it, possibly to their friends, possibly to their family, possibly to all these people, but they're seeing you do this from afar. So it's really just like, it's almost like an admirable energy. Like it's very like admirable what you're doing and what you've been through and how you just are so persistent on doing this your own way. I feel like they're seeing that it's working. So yeah, um, that's pretty intense. Let's just see. Um, now I'm going to ask the cards. I'm going to ask, why are they saying these things about you? Why are people talking about you like this? Why are they saying these things about you? Why are you their subject of conversation, you know? Hmm. Foundation. Well, again, like I was saying, these people are very close to you. They're very close to you. They're holding you in their heart very dearly. We have the Four of Pentacles and the Queen of Cups. This is a very nurturing, caring energy. They want to care for you. They want to protect you. They want to see you protect. I'm getting very motherly energy. Like, if you feel like your mother is talking about you, then this is probably accurate. I mean, it's like they're... This person is really caring. It could also be like a female figure in your life. A person is just very nurturing in your life, wants to protect you from this harsh reality. And um, there's, there's this new relationship blossoming. Another thing that I'm getting with this is like um, either somebody wants a new relationship with you or you have recently started a new relationship or... They want a new relationship for you. So again, there's like a lot of different energies here. Um, but there's a sense of newness. Like there's a sense of like new relationships, new connections. Because we have the sun and the three of cups. They just want you to be happy and they just want you to be in your best. And they just want you to be as fulfilled emotionally as possible. This is what this these people, this person wants from you. They just want to see you happy. They just want to see you thrive. They want to see you start something new or start a new relationship. So it's like, you know, um, they're saying that you just, you struggled, you know, you struggled quite a lot and they just want to see you happy in a way. Ten of Cups, that's a huge family card as well. They just want to hold you close. They want to keep you in their you know, keep you happy. And we have the devil. Clarity. 
Hmm, I'm really getting, yeah, wow. I, okay, this this makes a lot of sense. And we have the fool at the bottom. This is huge. And the moon. I think that what it really is is that people don't really understand what you're doing. They don't really understand why you have to be the way you're, you're doing this. Like, you're very different. I'm getting that it's like if this is a family thing or like family friends type thing, you are very different than your family. You're very different than these people who are talking about you. Even though they care about you a lot, even though they see you as someone they really want to like care for and protect and nurture and hold close, they don't really know you in your totality is what I'm getting. They want the best for you. And if this is like a new relationship or something that they are not sure, like, I just don't, I don't know about their new relationship. There's just like, I feel like you're coming into a new light. You're coming into a new light and they see this about you. They see how happy you're, you really are. They see how happy this new thing is making you. But they're also kind of scared for you. That's the main energy I'm getting. Is this energy is like somebody is scared for you. They don't know. They can't be there to fix everything for you. They can't be there to protect you. And so they're scared for you. They don't know like about this energy that you have inside. They don't know about this um, this force and this power, this potential that you have inside. They don't know how to explain that to themselves because they don't understand that. So I'm really getting this energy that it's like, you know, like when a mother doesn't want her son to like grow up in a way, it's almost like it's because she can't handle the reality that he has certain impulses. You know, it's like, it's kind of like that kind of energy that it's like these people, they want the best for you, but they're really kind of scared in what direction you're headed. And so if you've been working really hard on something or like building something a lot and you kind of feel like you know what you're doing, it's like these people really don't have much to say about that. And that's why you're not accepting any kind of advice or any kind of whatever, because you want to do things your own way. So now I'm just going to ask, um, is there any advice for you specifically, the viewer, the viewer of group three, any advice for you specifically on how to move forward with these relationships? Um, any advice on just moving forward in general in your situation? Strength. Knight of Wands. Ten of Pentacles. I'm getting this huge energy that um, it might be like for some of you, you might need to move out or move to a new place or move to somewhere like find a new home, find a new place to live. Um, focus on your health, focus on your well-being and take back your power, take back your strength. I feel like this is a really like um, testing time in your life to show you um to, for you to decide what direction you want to take ultimately. Like you have that power to decide and there's abundance for you in that path that you take. Like it's time for you to embark on a new journey with this. Yeah. Okay, only you can really make the decision. We have eight and nine, Major Arcana. Um, only you can really make the decision on where you belong and what you're supposed to do with your life. You have a, a solid abundance, like you have like abundance either within your own talents or within what you do, or you might already have like some finances set aside or something or some money that you can live off of. The cards are saying go explore, go do something new, go do something, go liberate yourself from this, um... Go find a new path. Go explore. Put something into practice, you know. Um, put yourself out there and just kind of like um, close off any old cycles with family. Um, I'm getting like really big family vibes, really big like hometown kind of like energy where it's like there's a certain tradition that you have to uphold and it's okay for you to like deviate from that. You know, it's like you don't have to be what your family wants you to be in a way or what other people want you to be. And just it's time to close that cycle, close that karma. Yeah, walk away, literally. Like it's time to embark on a new journey. And that's what the cards are trying to tell you. Be very clear and have the authority in your life to decide.
And the King of Swords, <laughs> literally, like, just have authority over yourself. Make a plan, make a strategy, start thinking of options, start thinking of where to go, and just launch yourself. Just throw yourself into something new. Put something into practice. I'm not saying start something new from scratch. I'm saying put what you've already built into practice. It's time to do that now. Okay? So, yeah. Uh, I think I'm just going to leave this reading at that group three. I hope this was helpful for you. Um, again, this is a general reading, so if it didn't resonate with you 100%, I am available for personal readings. And for the month of April, I am doing my readings 50% off. This is the magical code. Whoops, this is the magical code for my 50% off readings. Um, if you go to the Google document, there's going to be a portion that asks you what the magical code is. This is it. It's 811. So if you would like a 50% off reading for the month of April only, go ahead and check that out. Otherwise, if you enjoyed this reading, go ahead and leave a comment, like the video, subscribe to my channel, and I hope to see you again next time for future videos. Okay, talk to you guys later. Bye.